Good evening, YouTube world. It's the end of a long day, and I actually have two treats tonight. I have my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month, and my Birch Box for this month. Yay! So this is actually my first set of unboxing videos, and we'll see how things go. I'm going to start with my Ipsy Glam Bag, which this month it had the theme of Girl Meets Glitter and Life is Short, Wear Glitter. I'm not a glitter person. This terrifies me. It's well outside my comfort zone, so let's see what I have. Let's see. I have some interesting hairspray. It is the Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Volume Shine Hairspray Extra Hold Fast Drying Infused with Keratin and Sulfate Free. Theoretically, my curly hair should love this stuff. Um, I actually will try this and we'll see. I actually do occasionally use hairspray. I realize that today my hair looks so beautiful at the end of the day with all of its little wispy pieces falling out. That's the way it goes. Life happens. Item number two is the LA Colors Chunky Lip Color in, uh, let's see, what, what color is this one? Can I even read that? wine. So, ah, focus, thank you. Hmm. It actually feels pretty moisturizing. I'm kind of surprised. I'm not sure what I think of the color. It doesn't look anything like that, like on me, I don't think. Is that true to color? It looks brighter on my lips. I have this weird thing, lipsticks never look quite true for me, or at least I don't usually think so. No glitter in the lipstick, probably no glitter in the hairspray. Let's see. Next up is a box that is Your So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner from Elizabeth Mott. And it says shake well before using, get close to the lash line, and control the brush to create a thick or thin tapered line. Perfect for a winged cat eye. Meow. I'd be surprised if my cats didn't make guest starring appearances in the background today. And this one's called Glitterati. So, I like the point on that. I uh, actually should be able to work with that pretty well. Yeah, I have focus related issues. And it obviously looks black. But I think there's glitter in it. It looks like it. Black eyeliner with glitter. Black liquid eyeliner with glitter. Well, that is some. It does have glitter in it. Neat. A little swatchy swatchy on the back of the hand there. That is something that I have never used before. Um, I'm not really good with eyeliner yet, so we'll see how that goes. But the point on it is really fine. It's a brush. I've worked with something similar before and I've gotten good enough. I think I can handle this and I actually will wear that. All right. Up next, I have this little box from Tarte and in it, this is, it says Tarte's Maracuja Oil. Oh, pretty little bottle. I love the bottle. And it has a little dropper thing in it. Oh, with a plunger, no less. Okay, so what do I do with it? That seems like a silly question to have to ask. Um, let's see, directions say to apply at night two to three drops in, the, in your hands, rub them together, and pat on clean, dry skin on the face and neck. Uh, this powerful multitasking elixir can also be used to help soften cuticles, tame flyaways, condition split ends, and hydrate dry skin and rough patches. So basically smooth it anywhere that's dry. And I know nothing about maracuja oil or maracuja fruit, 
I'm assuming it's fruit based on the picture that's on the side of the box. It says, Precious Harvest, known as Puro Milagro, or the Pure Miracle, this rare Amazonian fruit is delicately harvested piece by piece. The superfruit is sustainably collected, and then the nutrient-rich seeded pulp is extracted from each individual fruit. This naturally harvested treasure, referred to as the alma or soul of the maracuja fruit, is then hand-pressed without the use of heat to guarantee the maximum amount of, nutritional, of nutritious essential fatty acids and vitamins. And the cold pressing is actually important for olive oil and stuff, so that makes some sense. If you heat the uh, oils as or the seeds as you press them, it denatures some of the important proteins and can help degrade the lipids and the fats, and so you may not get all the nutritional benefits. So that's neat, and the bottle is gorgeous. That's really pretty. I like that. All right, so that was item four. Item five is a little bottle of Temp2 highlighter in Pink Pearl. And I previously got one from Birchbox that was a bronze color and it was intended to be used as a bronzer. I actually, actually have really enjoyed working with that and learning how to apply that. I know from experience it's really liquidy and runny, so it's uh, you just kind of put a dot on your fingers and kind of dab it on. This is almost scary white. I mean focus please thank you even on my very pale skin that's gonna be really something so all right so this month's ipsy I have several things that I'm really excited to dry probably my least favorite product out of the pack out of the uh, glam bag this month so far is the lip crayon but it does feel pretty good I have to give it that it's just not a color that I would normally choose for myself. That doesn't mean I may not wear it. I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I'm really kind of, I love the highlighter, or the eyeliner specifically, and as it has dried, I don't know if the sparkle will actually show or not. Of course not if it won't focus. Uh -huh. Not really. I have a horrible camera. I'm sorry. And that's it for my November Ipsy Glam Bag.